Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? I'm doing great and hopefully you guys are doing fantastic because today we're going to be doing this small 8x8 medieval style starter house. And it's super cool because you can actually use this right now if you wanted to with Minecraft Earth. It is super easy to make, super simple, and it fits the 8x8 build plate. Big old shout outs to my friend Pixel Rips giving me some inspiration from his last recent tutorial. He actually made a really cool rustic tower house and it came out really, really awesome and I got inspired. So if you guys want to see more 8x8 builds, small, tiny micro builds like this, let me know in the comment section and let me know if you guys want to see different styles as well. But for right now, let's get this tutorial started. As far as the block palette, we're going to go with our simple basic materials you can find on Minecraft Earth like oak, spruce, a little bit of stone, cobble, and some stone brick. All right, let's get the building started. So remember, this is the 8x8. We can't build outside of this box. We can't have any overhangs over this box, so anything would have to go right to this edge. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in this corner to leave some room for overhangs. So right here, we're going to go with oak log. One, two, three, four, and five. Give it a space of one, two, three. Right here, we're gonna go up one, two, three, four, and five. Space of three right here. One, two, three, four, and five. And another space of three. One, two, three, four, and five. Just like so. Then next up, I'm gonna put another beam right here to give us that cool little overhang bit. And we're gonna go up one, two, three, and four only on this one. Give it a space of one, two, three, up by four on this one. Then I'm gonna go right in the center, right on this edge, and go up one, two, three, and four. Just like so. Then I'm going to cross beam this main area right here on the fifth ones right here on the top. Another cross beam, another cross beam and another cross beam like this. Then I'm going to put some pop out logs on these corners. So let's put one on this beam right here on the edge. One here on this edge of that beam. One more here on that edge. Then I'm going to go on the inside part of this. We're going to put a beam here and here right on that. I'm going to put another one here on this corner. Another one here on this edge. And then one more up against this beam. So all the beams have uh, our little pop outs right there. Except for this one, but don't worry about that for now. <laughs> now, next up, let's go ahead and put a piece of oak right on top of this one. Let's go ahead and put a stair upside down of oak right here. And that's going to be our front door to get in. Now, let's go on this edge and we're going to grab some stripped oak logs. And right from this beam to this beam, we're going to go up by two, up by two, up by two, like so. I'm gonna grab some oak planks, go up by two on this side, up by two here, and an upside down stair of oak right in the center, so that's our little window. Then let's repeat that again here, so up by two on all of these. We're gonna go up by two here and here, and an upside down stair here, and we have ourselves two windows. Now for this one, we're gonna do something a little different. Let's do the same kind of look to the bottom, and we're gonna go one, two, and three. One, two, and three, curving it around. Then some oak, one and two, one and two, one and two, right there. Then we're gonna grab for now stone brick, but later on we're gonna texture that chimney. But for right now, let's go on this inside part and go up one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Again, on the outside part as well, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four. So leave that there for now and we'll work it out as we work up that roof. Now, before we do the roof, let's go ahead and grab some, oh, uh, some spruce stairs and put them right on top and facing towards this log on every pop out that we just did all the way around, just like so. Now, next up, let's work on this roof. I'm going to go with some spruce and we're going to pop it out overhanging this bit and we're still within the line right there. And let's take it all the way down and overhang that bit as well, still within that 8x8. Then I'm going to go with an upside down stair right on the overhang. I'm going to go with a full block or let's just do double slab right there. We're going to go with a stair facing upwards. I'm going to go with an upside down stair right there. And then we're going to go with slabs going up. So one slab on top of that stair. We're going to go with a double slab right here and then a single slab on this side. Then we're going to go with a upside down stair here and then repeat this. So we're going to put another stair on this side. We're gonna go with a full block or two slabs. <laughs> We're gonna go with an upside down stair here. Let's put a stair on this side. Let's go with another upside down. So we're going a little farther just because we have this overhang bit. And then take it out one more, just like so. So leave it there for now. We'll work on this little extension in a second. But for right now, it should look like this from this side. Let's repeat this exact roof here though. So we're gonna go with an upside down stair here. Full block or double slab is fine. We're gonna go with a stair facing forward, upside down stair. I'm gonna go with a slab on top, 
double slab here, single slab on that side, upside down stair here, and we're gonna go back down with a stair, double slab or full block, upside down stair here, and a stair right on this side, and let's go with another stair overhanging that bit right there. So that should connect to this side. So what we're gonna do now is just connect this stair going all the way down over this section, and we got that connection going all the way down like so. Now, what I wanna do is for this little part, I'm gonna do a little pop out extra roof here. So let's take it out one more, still within that eight by eight. I'm gonna put an upside down stair on this side. Let's repeat it also on this log. I'm gonna go with a stair here, overhanging that bit, still within the eight by eight, another upside down stair. And then we're just gonna go up with slabs. So single slab here, single slab on this side, double slab, double slab, and a double slab on top, just like so. Then let's grab our oak slab. I'm gonna put it right up against that. We're gonna put another one right up against this one. And we're gonna put another spruce on top of that. So it gives you a little bit of a trim. So if you notice the outside trims are all out of spruce. And then the inside part, we're gonna go just like that and put it out of oak. So it's looking pretty good for now. Now, next up, let's go on this side and finish this roof off here. So we're gonna go with an oak plank, oak stair, oak slab, spruce slab, just like so. Let's repeat it. Over here, full block, stair, slab, and slab, just like so. Then, here we're gonna do a little pop-out window. Let's put a log on each side of those. We're gonna go with a spruce stair facing this direction, getting you that L look. Do another one here. Upside down stair, slab on top. Then, let's connect this one. So we're gonna put another oak slab, oak slab, then we're gonna put a spruce slab. And then connect this going all the way down. So we have this cool little line in the middle, which looks really, really awesome, just like so. Now, for this side, let's continue it. So here we're gonna put an oak stair. We're gonna put an oak stair on this side. And we're gonna put one more here. Leaving this little spot open for right now. Then, right here, we're gonna go with a full block, another full block of oak, two oak stairs, two oak slabs right here. Then on the back part, we're gonna continue this theme. So we're gonna go ahead and put this same block here that we did on that side, same oak stair, same oak slab. I'm gonna do it one more time. So oak all the way up in this line. And right here, we're gonna continue this. So we're gonna go with double slab or full block. We're gonna go with a stair and we're gonna go with a slab. And this is all a little spruce line. It's gonna connect to this spruce line here. But we're not gonna put a window on this side because we're gonna do our fireplace. So let's continue this up. So from right here, if you notice, we already went up by four. So right here, we're gonna go another one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna put two stairs on this side. For now, we're doing all out of brick. We're gonna go and texture it after. So two stairs here. And then right here on top, we're gonna grab some walls. We're gonna put two walls on top. And then we're gonna grab some flower pots and put two flower pots on top of these, just like so. And it's looking pretty nice. Now, next thing, let's go ahead and cover this part up. For this cover up, we're gonna go up one and two, one and two, one and two. Uh, let's fill it in, there we go, with our stripped spruce. Now we're gonna go back here and do the same thing. So let's go up one and two, one and two, one and two on this side. So this looking pretty good. Let's take a little wrap around. That's what it looks like so far. Now for the extra bits of detail, we're gonna put slabs underneath every other one, skipping these here. We're gonna drop some trap doors in between, so right around like so. Then let's go back on this end and do the same thing. So we're gonna put a slab on this one and then a trap door. Slabs every other one, trap doors in between, just like so. Then for added details, we're gonna go right up top and put trap doors every other one, just like so. But I wanna add a little bit of a pop-out log, but just a one. So we're gonna get rid of that block because I wanna make it look a little cooler. Let's put an upside down stair here, and then let's put our log right in the center, just like so. Let's do the same thing on this side, just to give you that little bit of extra detail. So let's get rid of that, put an upside down stair here, and our pop-out log right here. We can't take it more out than this because it's right on the line, so we can't take it out like all the way. So just up to there. Now, since we're back here, let's do one slight little modification. I wanted to add some pop-out logs on these ends here. Let's put some fences underneath that. Then I'm gonna grab some upside down stairs, put one on each side and a slab in the middle, giving you that little bit of extraness right there. And we can't put any buttons, unfortunately. Usually I like putting buttons here on those uh, cutoff logs. Uh, we can't, since we can't go over the plot, but that's fine. It still looks pretty good. 
On the front side here though, you could take it out one more. That's if you just, if you don't want to make it symmetrical, you could either cut it off, keep it symmetrical like that, or pop it out one more. If you do pop it out one more, you're good to go. It looks pretty good and it's extended uh, a little bit out, but you can just keep it symmetrical as well, either way. Now, another thing I like to do is add a little bit more details. Let's get rid of this part here. You could build on the eight by eight section. And over here, I'm gonna add a little bit of flower pot action. So you can just cover this up with trap doors and then you can put any kind of flower or bush or really anything out here. It's gonna go with a regular old uh, flower on top like so. Then over here, I'm gonna go with some spruce leaves. I'm gonna wrap those around on the side like so. Also, we're gonna grab some glass and I'm gonna go with just regular old glass panes. And we're gonna drop these glass panes right in the window here. Another one on this side. Over here, we're gonna grab a trap door as a shutter. Up here, I didn't wanna put shutters, so I added just a couple buttons on each side to make it look pretty cool. On this side, I did the same thing. Yeah, you can, if you want to, make a little flower box. But remember, you can't go outside and you can't do this. So I'm gonna get rid of that part, get rid of these here. Let's put some coarse dirt on the bottom. I'm gonna go with more bushes here. And this is a spruce bush on each side. I'm gonna go with another glass and another trap door on the side like so. And then on this side, I'm gonna get rid of these again. And then we're gonna go with just regular old coarse dirt. And you can add stuff like grass, tall grass, ferns, really anything. Uh, you can just go crazy pretty much. At this point, uh, you can just add extra details on the outside as you like. Um, and you don't even have to fill some out. If you wanna have, have as much detail as you can, you can fill out that whole plot, but you're good to go. Here, you're really not gonna see much. Uh, over here, I just went with a couple things. I, I went with a little uh, crafting bench. Uh, you can go with even a note block. I don't believe they have barrels yet on Minecraft Earth, so you can't really use those, but they do. I did see some note blocks, and I did also see some chests that you can add here on the side. So just extra bits of detail. And then here on the side, we can add, uh, I'm just gonna go with coarse dirt all the way around like so. And then you can add either ferns or flowers, really anything. Uh, these you can't add to the side, but you could add maybe a little fern or a bush, anything here on that side, even some grass. Uh, on one of these, you can add a fence and maybe even a torch on top, uh, really anything you like on these. Now, little things you could do to texture this a little bit, just to give you a little bit more detail and personality. I would maybe put some stairs, a little stair facing down here, maybe on the top, a little stair sideways like so. Maybe even change some of these stairs for some cobble like so. And then come back in here, add a little bit of texture with cobble, maybe add a little bit of texture as well with some stone, just to break it up and make it look a little bit better and more unique and more detailed. So something simple like those, even on the inside part. Uh, and then if you notice, it's like a little hole right there. Uh, you can dress that up if you want, by maybe even putting a little bit of an upside down stair of oak facing inward, but it's really up to you, uh, but you don't need to, but that would be just a little bit of added detail. Another thing you could do as well is add some bushes like I did on the top, uh, and this is pretty simple. I went with a, a different kind of bush that we had on this side. So we have these kinds right here. These are the spruce ones for the top. I put the oak ones uh, and then you can add this. You don't need to, but uh, it does add a little bit more detail to this house. If you want it to go crazy, just add a little on this side, maybe overflowing and coming down towards this end. And remember, don't go outside the overhang, all right? So you can continue on this side if you want. You can even break some of these out and add it as part of the house like so. But it's really up to you guys. But that's it as far as the house exterior. Let me show you what we could do on the inside. Now, next up, we're just gonna cover up this whole floor. Uh, you can go with really any material. Uh, we can go with either oak. You could even go with stones. You can use pretty much anything down here. I'm just gonna go with simple old oak, just like so. Then we can grab our door and we should be good to go right inside. Now for extra bits of detail on the top, I'm gonna go with some slabs on each end, slabs on each end like this. Then I'm gonna go with spruce on those corner bits, giving you that cool little design look on the top. Now, as far as the interior, back here, I have like a nice little uh, dining room table. So I went with a dark oak stripped log here, dark oak stair on this side and one on this side. Over here, we got just a couple furnaces on this and then maybe just a couple stairs facing upwards here. You can even put some chests right up against that wall like so. And then maybe some upside down stairs right there to get that flush. Then up here, we can actually make a second floor. The way I'm gonna do this, uh, actually we don't need this section here. If you like, you could put some extra things here. Uh, you can even put maybe a couple chests like so, uh, upside down stair here maybe a little crafting bench on this side, right about there. But right here, I'm gonna go with a ladder. One, two, and three, just like so. 
I'm gonna grab some trap doors and let's go one, two, and three on this side. One, two, three on this side, and then some slabs in the center. And we got plenty of space now that we're up here, but we can go up and down right from this edge right there. Look how cool, plenty of space. Then from on the top here, really simple. Uh, we can go with a bed on one side. So let's maybe just throw a bed over here, right there. You can drop a crafting bench up here. You can also drop some chests. Uh, I think probably the best thing to do is maybe a little crafting bench right here. You could even put uh, on this side, we could put some chests. We can maybe even go right here, put a couple double chests, a couple double chests here. Armor stand, you can put right on the back side, right here, a little armor station. Uh, and this should be good. I don't think you can really add much more and still have movable space. It's gonna be hard though, if you're on Minecraft to actually fit all this in here, but there's space for it. Uh, and then I would maybe just put a, a, a little torch, either on this side, you can even put double torches here. Uh, you can even add some flower pot action on the top right here. And also maybe a little flower. Let's go with a simple little dandelion right there. Uh, you can also add some paintings on this one. And you can maybe just add one or two. I wouldn't add too much. Maybe just one in the center. Oh, no, no not that one. Let's go. There we go. One on this side. And if you want, you can add a bigger one on the other end. And it's packed <laughs> full of stuff. But you can also, if you want, add some more details by adding maybe a little double carpet on this side. Armor, if you can, put it on that side. Uh, and then down here, you can put a more carpet, maybe a little quad right here. And I would add maybe another uh, painting on this side. And if you want, you can also add another flower pot on top right here. Uh, maybe a cake if you can, uh, but it really up to you guys what you want to add on this side. And if you don't use it for Minecraft Earth, you could definitely use it in your uh, regular old world so, as well. Uh, if you want, even one more painting right here. I don't like that one. That was a good one right there. Perfect. We're done. And there you go. We're all done. Let me know what you guys think of this little 8x8. I love all the details we were able to pack. It's such a small little area. I got so many other ideas of other 8x8 builds you can fit in this little plot. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Let me know if there's any other build type styles, anything you would like to see for an upcoming video. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.